The James Webb Telescope has been busy since launch, and it has definitely found things never seen before. The images coming back are mind-blowing, like this one of the inner Orion Nebula. It also captured the very first direct image of a planet outside our solar system. This incredible image of the northern region of the Orion Nebula shows off the intricate details of eerie cosmic canyons of gas and dust. However, the James Webb Space Telescope took an image that some say disproves the Big Bang Theory. Is the Big Bang Theory in trouble, and what else did the Webb Space Telescope find? On Christmas Day, December 25, 2021, astronomers held their breath as an Ariane 5 heavy rocket carried the James Webb Space Telescope into space. After that, it took 30 days for the telescope to travel 1.5 million kilometers and reach its operational location. It would take another six months for engineers to set up instruments and align the telescope's 18 gold hexagonal mirrors. But on July 12, 2022, it sent back its first images that stunned everyone. One of those images now holds the record for the deepest view of the universe ever taken and shows the galaxy cluster named SMAX 0723 as it appeared for 0.6 billion years ago. The cluster of galaxies is so heavy that it warps the light from much more distant galaxies behind the cluster. However, this image reveals much more than the original Hubble Deep Field image, and it's just a tiny sliver of the vast universe. One of the big surprises is that the galaxies caught in the image are much more massive, and the other is they are far more structured than previously imagined. In other words, no one believed these galaxies could be so well organized in the early universe. For this reason, a well-known science writer, Eric J. Lerner, believes the newly revealed galaxies in the deep field image from the James Webb Space Telescope prove there was no Big Bang, and the universe is much older and static. Lerner wrote a book in 1991 called The Big Bang Never Happened and instead believes in something called plasma cosmology. Of course, many online channels jumped at the chance to parrot the false information. But is there any truth to Lerner's theory? While it is true that some unexpected images of galaxies came back from the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, the Big Bang Theory is still holding up strong. As the late great Carl Sagan once said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So far, Mr. Lerner hasn't provided any solid evidence to support his theory. Despite the false rumor that the Big Bang never happened because of the amazingly detailed JWST deep field image, the other images from the Space Telescope were equally incredible. One of the most breathtaking and unexpected images was taken of the planet Jupiter in August 2022. Giant storms, powerful winds, and auroras can clearly be seen, and it certainly looks like Jupiter has a whole lot more going on than previously thought. In the photo, you can see Jupiter's dust rings and its moons Amalthea and Adrasti. Compared to the first image taken of Jupiter by Andrew Ainsley Common in Ealing, London, on September 3, 1879, using a 91-centimeter reflector, this image truly showcases the imaging power of the James Webb Space Telescope. As beautiful as the images look, the colors don't match what the human eye would see since our eyes aren't capable of picking up infrared radiation. What you're seeing is the result of image processors mapping longer infrared wavelengths to the red end of the visible spectrum, and shorter wavelengths towards the blue spectrum. This mimics how the human eye perceives visible light. This is the JWST image next to the latest Hubble telescope image of Jupiter. The Hubble image definitely looks more natural to the human eye. But the much higher details in the image from the JWST can clearly be seen. But this isn't all the megabillion dollar telescope has imaged and discovered. One of the first targets of focus for the Webb Space Telescope was the exoplanet WASP 39b, which lies in the Virgo constellation around 700 light years from Earth. This gas giant planet is a bit bigger than Jupiter and orbits what astronomers call a G type star. This hot gas giant, much like Saturn, orbits close to its star, giving the space telescope the perfect target to image its atmosphere. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer space telescopes revealed the presence of water vapor, potassium, and sodium in the planet's atmosphere. Despite this, no one was absolutely sure about the findings. However, the Webb Telescope's supersensitive infrared instruments have now confirmed these things, and the presence of carbon dioxide on this planet as well. Finding carbon dioxide might not sound like the most groundbreaking thing, 
but it's important because it's a very sensitive measuring stick for understanding heavy elements in the atmospheres of giant and rocky exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope also used its near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, on Mars on September 5, 2022. The NIR spec module can easily detect the spectral signatures of carbon dioxide, water, and carbon monoxide. Not only that, but a preliminary analysis of a spectrum with a rich set of spectral features can contain information from dust and icy clouds, to even what kinds of rocks are on a planet's surface. With this kind of power, the James Webb Space Telescope is just getting started. Recently, the Webb Telescope focused its powerful gaze towards Neptune and grabbed this ghostly image of the planet and seven of its 14 known moons. Keep in mind that Neptune is 30 times farther away from the Sun than the Earth and lies in the dark region of our solar system. And, if you're wondering why Neptune's moon Triton is shining like a bright star in the image, it's because it's covered in a frozen sheet of condensed nitrogen that reflects around 70% of the sunlight that hits its surface. These images look a lot different than images we're used to seeing of Neptune as an icy blue orb. The difference is these images were taken with Webb's near-infrared camera, a NERCAM which observes in the near-infrared range from 0.6 to 5 microns. This is why Neptune doesn't look blue to the Webb telescope. Another thing is that the methane gas of Neptune strongly absorbs red and infrared light, and this makes the planet very dark at near-infrared wavelengths. JWST also grabbed a few new images of Stefan's Quintet, a group of galaxies that are close enough together that they give astronomers a front-row seat to galactic mergers and interactions. In other words, Stefan's Quintet is a sort of cosmic laboratory that's going to allow astronomers to see how galaxies merging together trigger the formation of stars. The image shows clusters of millions of young stars and sweeping tails of gas, and dust being pulled on by the gravitational interactions of the galaxies. The most dramatic part of the composite image is the huge shockwave of the galaxy NGC 7318b, as it smashes through the cluster. But if you want to see something really incredible, then take a look at the NIRCAM image of the Tarantula Nebula. It's a mosaic image that stretches 340 light years across and shows tens of thousands of young stars that have never been seen before because they are shrouded in cosmic dust. The most active region in the middle sparkles with young stars that appear blue. To the upper left of the young star cluster is an older star shining brightly and displaying the distinctive eight diffraction spikes that are an artifact of the Webb telescope structure. Farther from the core of the young stars, cooler and much denser gas takes on a reddish rust color, complex hydrocarbons that will form future stars. New images coming in from the James Webb Space Telescope really showcase its power. This is the heart of the phantom galaxy imaged with the telescope's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, in this incredible view. Masses of gas and dust are sharply highlighted within the galaxy's arms, with a dense cluster of stars at its core. Another jaw-dropping image is the Cosmic Cliffs image from the JWST's NIRCAM. The image reveals star birth that couldn't be seen before thanks to the near-infrared camera. The Cosmic Cliffs is a gigantic gaseous cavity about 7,600 light-years away from us. What looks like steam that appears to rise from the celestial cliffs is actually hot ionized gas and dust that is streaming away from the nebula due to intense ultraviolet radiation. Bubbles and cavities are blown into the gas and dust from the intense radiation and stellar winds of newborn stars. These images are certainly impressive. But what about all this talk of the James Webb Space Telescope being able to look back in time? In July 2022, after the first images were shown to the world, the James Webb Space Telescope found what some astronomers are calling the oldest galaxy ever seen. They named it Glass Z13, and its age has been dated back to 300 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy is so far away from us that it has taken 13.4 billion years for its light to reach us. But, because of the expansion of the universe, the distance between us and the galaxy is now a mind-boggling 32 billion light years away. The discoveries have been incredible so far, and from estimates made by engineers. The telescope should have enough power to work for about 20 years, opening the universe to us. But this is as long as the mirrors stay undamaged. The James Webb Space Telescope has already sustained permanent damage when a micrometeoroid struck one of the mirrors. The small rock that hit the telescope in May 2022 caused significant and uncorrectable damage. 
Thankfully, we don't have anything to worry about, because the damage is small enough at the full telescope level that it's not going to cause a big problem. NASA is hoping the micrometeoroid strike was a rare thing. Now that you've seen them, what do you think about the discoveries so far? Do you think we will eventually find a planet like ours out there somewhere with the James Webb Telescope? Let us know in the comments. And to be sure you don't miss out on any new discoveries, stay tuned here by subscribing. Thanks for watching.